a lot of people think of gratitude as like this airy fairy holistic lifestyle like oh my god it's so great and whatever and it's really not gratitude is a very serious um distinct on purpose marketing strategy that a lot of business owners don't utilize Hello and welcome to episode 121 of the Smart Agents Podcast. My name is Michael Walter and I'll be your host. In today's episode, we are joined by Philadelphia real estate professional, Steve Bazogany. Starting his real estate career in 2014, Steve had no experience or connections. Through the teachings of Brian Buffini, he quickly learned the power of referrals and his business took off. With all the success he was having, Steve founded the Appreciation Advocate to help fellow real estate agents and small business owners learn how they can quickly stand out among the crowd and build deep relationships with their clients, all while eliminating burnout and generating more referrals, which in turn leads to increased income and having more fun in their careers. Now, before we get on to the day's featured interview, make sure to subscribe to the Smart Agents Podcast. You can find the show on all major podcasting platforms such as Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, and now Amazon Music. Also, if you or someone else on your team has an awesome story or tip to share with our community, send us a message at feedback at smartagents.com. We're always on the lookout for new stories to share. All right, let's get on to the day's featured interview with Steve Bazogany. I personally am a firm believer in the high return on investment when it comes to wowing your past clients. And if you're interested in learning more about the Appreciation Advocate, I've included a link in the episode description. Just getting started out, could you introduce yourself to us a little bit, who you are and where you're at in the country? So yeah, so I'm in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Uh, My name is Steve Bazogany. I've been in and around real estate since 2012. I got started in... Uh, I went to St. Joe's University. I was a junior in college there. Um, And after junior year, I had my first internship there. And I, as an accounting major, and I was like, nope, can't do this. Absolutely not going to happen. I can't do 30 years of this. No offense to any accountants listening, but I'm just like, this isn't for me. So I got into real estate and I was like, I need to make money fast, but I don't have a whole lot of applicable skills at this point. I'm 19. So uh, real estate agents was like, oh, you know, there's no barrier to entry there. Get your license and work hard. So I was actually flipping houses with my parents at the time. And we I learned that you can, the real estate agents we were using to sell our flipped houses, I was like, I can do their job better than they are. So I, that's what made me get their, the license. And then I ended up, you know, getting rookie of the year and all that fun, you know, awards and stuff or whatever. Uh, and then I came across a mentor of mine, uh, uh, Brian Buffini. And then he taught me, you know, the calls, notes and the Popeyes, but that whole style of how he teaches business, like the call, the, the referral based lifestyle, totally bought into that like hardcore like you know you gave me a sandwich i bought i eat the whole thing one bite like that's <laughs> like i was like this is it so um so i did that um i was doing 21 million dollars in sales a year 40 homes a year um and i've 73 percent of my business was by referral and then that's what led me to like a lot i became known as the referral guy in the office and i was just like oh you're the buffini guy you're the referral guy it's like okay whatever but um i had some other mentors as well and basically I got into this whole like giving clients gifts, but I kind of took the Popeyes to another level. Like I wouldn't do them like every month because it kind of eliminates the gift. And plus it does get expensive and it takes up a lot of time to, 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 to research the gifts, to order them, to buy them, to wrap them, to deliver them. And then to spend the time with your clients. Sometimes, I mean, depending on your client, they might talk to you for like an hour. It's more <laughs> like Brian calls them a swap buy as opposed to a pop buy. So it's like, I, what I ended up doing is I, started doing like three or four gifts a year, but they were big gifts. And it was like, and they were personalized and they were customized. Like some of my clients will get like, you know, the speakers you hook up to your phone, those Bluetooth speakers, like the, the look like a pill, but it'll be customized. It'll have their name engraved on it. It'll be their favorite color. Um, I'll give them Cutco scissors, Cutco knives, um, engraved with like their favorite quote or their last name. Um, but these gifts are going to last for a long time. They're going to spend uh, a long time, even in the house, they're usable. Um, the other gifts that, and we can talk about this in a little bit, but like how, you, how, what I have taught real estate agents in my office that I've worked with so far, um, is how to screw it all up. Like I call them fart in the wind gifts because you can give people, <laughs> uh, a bottle of champagne at settlement, like the stereotypical realtor gift and they, you know, they consume it and they forget it. So, and that, and the whole thing about real estate and the, in marketing, and, and marketing in general is to make an impression and like to, and when you give a gift to somebody and it makes an impression, that's great. You give them a bottle of champagne. That is one impression. You paid 20 bucks for that bottle of champagne for one impression. Uh, but when you give somebody a 
pair of Cutco scissors or whatever, you paid a hundred to two hundred dollars for the knives, but you're getting an impression every day, forever. So, so it's like, because like, I mean, think about the last time you got a gift from somebody that oh, a good gift that you use all the time. Do you? I mean, be honest. Do you do you not think of the person who gave it to you every time you look at it or touch it or use it? Like, don't oh. you? Yeah. I mean, it definitely keeps you, I mean, it keeps that person on your mind. And even if it's not necessarily uh, consciously every time, it's one of those things like you kind of know what that person is up to all the time, just, you know, in and about your day-to-day life because you're always thinking about them. Right. But here's the thing. It's never branded to me though, because you wouldn't care. Like if I got you something really, really nice, like a Cutco knife, like a new blade, and it was engraved, Steve Bizogany, Remax, you know, (laughs) you'd be like, because that's a different, and that's where it separates. That's where, and this is why I started the appreciation advocate and, and got into gifting because it's so many, and then it's not just real estate agents. I work for small businesses all over. I mean, all kinds of different businesses. And we have a, what do you call them? A dash cam company, like all those kind of weird, cool stuff. But anybody who's looking to do their top clients, we just, the first thing we do is you're not allowed to brand it. Like it's not allowed to do that. <laughs> you got to, can't do that stuff. Um, because people, because that's what separates a gift from a promotion. A promotion is all about the giver. So that like, oh, I'm giving you something that says Remax or Steve Bizogany on it. That's all about me. It's about, or even like when you go to a convention or or some kind of mm-hmm. conference, you get the t-shirt with the conference logo on it. It's not about you though, but um, can you imagine going to like a conference where they show up and they got something custom made for you on it? It's like, oh, mm-hmm. cool. This is like, this got like Michael Walter hats. And then the next right. guy's got Steve Zogany hat or, you know what I mean? Like that would be yeah. an unforgettable conference and the gifts would be higher quality and things like that. But um, the point is basically don't go crazy spending a ton of money on cheap stuff to make, just to stay top. To, don't work so hard to stay top of mind. Let's just work smarter. Like give them three or two to four gifts a year that are really, really nice. And those will last making more impressions than you will do if you gave one gift a month that was like like a fart in the wind gift, like a flowers that'll last for a week and die or champagne or something that's branded to you that they're not going to use or something or any, like anything branded that's cheap, like pens. Yeah. <laughs> so just, yeah. So kind of backing up a little bit when you really kind of got into this Brian Buffini way of doing things, what was it that kind of, uh, you know, sparked it like, ah, this is really the way for me to go. This is what I'm going to find the most success in. Well, it's, that's a great question. So like, I I think for me, it was, I am by nature, a, um, Brian Buffini has this whole thing. He has, um, it's called a heritage profile where he basically, they, his coaching company interviews you and they, they give you all your strengths as the strengths finder, I think it's called now or something like that. Um, and I was a refiner as one of my con, my, um, traits. And every time I do something, I'm supposed to do it faster and smaller or faster, easier, whatever. So I don't like to work harder when I don't have to. So when it comes to referrals, I was like, wow, I know my conversion rate with a referral is like 60 to 70% versus like an open house. It's like one out of every 10 people that comes through. It's only 10% versus a Zillow lead. Do you think the national average, um, mine was a little higher. Mine was like over 10%, but the national average for real estate, per, um, lead on Zillow was like four and a half to 5%. So like why Mm -hmm. dabble in the four and a half percent to 5% or even 10% when you have 60 to 70 available? It's like, I think, uh, I forget the guy's name. He's the former um, running back for the Baltimore Ravens. He said, why settle for good when great is available? So like, and I was like, of course. So like, and then don't work harder. So like you have to, so this is the thing. I have to work three to four days a week and take one to two months a year off because I didn't work harder for my leads. I worked with the people that were ready to sign a contract right away. And then and then it was just easy to replicate them too, because they came trusting me already. And then mm-hmm. if I wanted a referral from them, like I have like family treats in my business as a real estate agent, because it's like, oh, this person referred me to this person who then referred me to this person. And it all started because I gave this person a really nice gift at the beginning. Like I got them uh, like this one couple, I got them, they're, they're having a baby. I had a, and he's, a shoe guy and she's a runner. So I was like, naturally, I'm just going to get a custom pair of baby shoes made and I get it made. And they were like, dude, you're amazing. So I get this whole string of people that came from them just be like, our realtor went far and above to get these custom shoes made for our first kid, blah, blah, blah. 
Gosh, gosh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> well, and so before really kind of uh, diving into uh, the you know, the different uh, things that you can do for gifts and the, you know, the, what you should be doing. Uh, one of the things, everybody I talk to that uh, really focuses on the referrals and the past clients and really, it just seems like they have a lot more fun too, oh, right? Because it's not chasing those people that don't want to talk to you. It's you're building relationships and getting business from people that are your friends. Yeah. So actually, it's funny you bring that up. So, and, and this is, I'm not trying to plug anything, but if you were on my website, I have a section of my website and it just says, imagine if these were your prospecting calls every day. And it's literally just a bunch of text messages from my clients that it's like, oh my God, Steve, thank you so much. And it's like, oh, great, cool. How are you? And then we can just start the conversation. You know what I mean? Like that's my conversation with them. It's not like I don't have to work hard and overcome objections and try to talk my way into anything. It's just like, they come with open arms. They come it's like, hey, you know what? We're actually having the family over. Why don't you bring your family over? It's like, great. Let me meet your entire network organically. Right. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So you touched on a little bit, uh, you call it, you know, the fart in the wind gifts. And I think that's a great term for it because it is. It's like, you know, you. I remember uh, my wife and I, our first home, we got the bottle of champagne. That was it. Like it was, it's gone that night. Yeah. yeah never. <laughs> One impression, man. <laughs> right. <laughs> and uh, so what was it that really kind of, stu- you know, kind of stuck out to you when you started doing the gift giving and, and you know, going all out with the custom shoes? What was it that really kind of made you want to go that direction? Uh, when I, I've done a lot of studying and I actually read a book called um, John Rowland's book, Giftology, which is a great book. And that kind of was the inspiration for it. Um, and then it was just like, wow, I can do this uh, in my real estate business and I can do it affordably. And I can make a bigger impact that way. So a lot of principles in that book were a good book. Uh, I would recommend that for a lot of people. Um, that's where I would I would say uh, was the the impetus for me to go down this whole route. And then once I started implementing it, it was just like, wow, okay, that's these are real. And the cool thing about it is it's principle based. So it's not like it's not like the technology, the tactics might change, but the principle itself is is still there. It's like um, think about it, like a lot of people think of gratitude as like this airy fairy holistic lifestyle like oh my god it's so great and whatever and it's really not gratitude is a very serious um distinct on purpose marketing strategy that a lot of business owners don't utilize and it's like and when you are in, and you, when you treat gratitude like you treat a zillow lead or an open house or uh any other marketing that you do realtor.com or whatever that the roi there you you would be blown away like i, I might so this 2021, I spent, I had a budget of $12,000 for the year. And I, so basically a thousand dollars a month, which is reasonable for most agents. Like it's not crazy. I mean, some of these agents are spending five, six, seven thousand dollars a month on Zillow. And I'm like, if I told you you could spend a thousand a month and get a 60 X on that, you'd be like, Oh, well, hello, <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Um, so they, so basically, um, I started doing it and it was just like, I spent a, about a thousand, I spent 10,500 for the, the year. So I was under budget and the ROI, I think was $143,000 or something. I was also like, let's double the budget. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, and then it's, so uh, it's been, it's been awesome. Yeah. So but, yeah. when you are um, kind of creating these gift packages and, and really kind of uh, coming up with that memorable you know, gift to send. I'd imagine a lot of it starts with just a, um, you know, communicating up front and really getting to know who your clients are on the front end. Yeah. Well, that's the big thing. And that's where the referrals really come in. I mean, that's, if you don't know anything about your clients, you can't give a good gift. So like, if you don't know if they're having a baby, if you don't know they're getting married or even divorced, I mean, some of my best gifts were um, when I have like when a like when a dog passed away, which is a serious like a dog is like I mean I'm a big dog guy, so like when a dog passed away, it's a really sad thing. So like and people, it's like losing a family member. So like I would send, I would get a custom watercolor painting of the dog made and sent to their house. Be like, hey, look, you're awesome, and put a personal note in there. And like you get a phone call. That gift gives you a phone call, and they and like because everyone else is like, oh my god, they go. Everybody else goes on Facebook and goes, oh my god, so sorry, blah blah blah, prayers. What's the thoughts and prayers or whatever that you know the the stereotypical right. answer or whatever. <laughs> but then when they get this thing in the mail, and this gift cost me, it's a, it's a twelve dollar gift. Like it's not crazy expensive, but it is a it is like massive impact, and it like it gets a phone call, and 
they sometimes they they sometimes call crying and they're just like you're the prettiest thing ever i can't believe you took the time to do this this is so nice no doubt that picture's going on the wall and no picture no doubt that anytime anyone comes into the, the house they're like oh that's such a cool picture yeah my realtor made that for me <laughs> right. or whatever <laughs> right so you imagine like and that's why like that's the cool thing is like sometimes that does to do all that does take a lot of time which is why you know we do it for people now which is right cool. right and you know when it comes to that, uh, so like in that specific case, it also is keeping up with your past clients. Also, like you know, keeping in contact with them, knowing what's going on in their lives after the transaction's done. It's not one of those things that you know you would have never known that had you just totally gone off the you know face of the earth and just sent a uh, you know a box of chocolates on their birthday without really kind of knowing much about them. Yeah. Well, there's another far to win gift too, like box of chocolates, like, right. or, or anything like that. So like, you don't want to do that kind of stuff is because, and like, so for my, all right, so you're, this might blow your mind a little bit. So you're thinking right now it's the holiday season and I'm a gifting company. So you're probably thinking I'm probably blown away over, over the top busy. The truth is I'm actually not. So we don't allow our clients to give any kind of gifts during the holiday season. So because what your what's your kitchen table look like right now bunch of crap all over it like there's gifts <laughs> from all over the place your company's this there's a champagne here there's chocolate from aunt betty and there's a, you know an edible arrangement from uncle herman or whatever you know what i mean so like right. it's just gonna get lost in all the shuffle but so for me i'm just you know we're on kind of like a cruise control kind of prepping for q1 uh at the moment but like you don't you'll stand out so much more to give a better gift in like february 7th Versus like anytime in December, anytime between the end of the year and Thanksgiving, you're just going to be in with a bunch of everything else. So that's what we do. Awesome. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about uh, what what it was that made you want to start uh, your business and and really kind of, you know, help train other agents to to do this kind of thing. I think for me, it was just the fact that so many people kept coming up to me and were just like, how do I do this? How do I do this? How do I do this? And then when I told, I told them over and over and over and over again. It was like the most common answer I heard was, oh my God, I don't have time. That's so, so much work. And it's like, but you're willing to like stand in front of a computer for two hours a day, making cold calls. I mean, how much fun can that be? <laughs> like, so, so like, so for me, I'm like, all right, you know what? There's clearly a market here. And this is just in real estate. Like imagine like I can do this for any small business. So, right. and I bet that, and this is again, back in the real estate situation. Like I'm thinking if I could do this for the other real estate agents, this would tremendously help them. It would make it an incredibly high impact on the industry itself. It would increase the quality of agent that people work with. Um, it would help the agent, it would help the consumer. And then outside of real estate, I bet you real estate's not the only business in, in the world suffering from this problem. So I can go to anywhere else. And <laughs> so we can go to these other places. So that's where it's kind of all started. And then I think, and I think, you know, what I, whether you believe in a higher power or not, whatever it is, the universe just kind of lights me on fire to, to, to help other people and give uh, gratitude to like a big thing. And like to basically, I just kind of feel like my calling in life is to take the idea of gratitude and make it an, and to kind of solidify that it is actually a solidified, or I would say a concrete solid business strategy that people need to understand that it's, it's actually when taken seriously, will give you a higher ROI than anything else you do. Awesome. Yeah. So how did everything kind of start? How did you get going to where you, um, you know, we're starting to create these gift packages and, and do these, you know, be the pop by for, uh, your clients. Um, I think for me, it was just, um, I had a couple agents come to me and they were like, I don't have time to do this. And I showed them what I was doing. And they're like, Steve, this is a lot of work. And I was just like, okay. And then for me, it was, or how much could I, I sat down one night and I was just like, how much could I charge somebody for this? And, but, but here's, and this is, this was really, really, really important. So I'm glad you asked this question because for me, it was like, there are these huge corporations and who can do these unlimited gifting budgets and their best clients will get a bunch of Rolexes and whatnot. And even that's not even so great because, you know, if you're a big company and you want to give a Rolex to like, I don't know, an NFL player, NFL player can buy 15 Rolexes. <laughs> so, you know, it's like, not, there's that too. So my thing with the, with the appreciation advocate was, I want to make that big corporate um, ability and I want to give it to small business owners. So like, I, like some of these, and I looked into this a lot before I started appreciation advocate, I was like, how do I get 
that ability to, to the small business owners. And then I looked at like what these other companies cost. They're ranging like ten to $25,000 just for the consulting fee. That's before you even buy a gift or their shipping or anything. And I'm like, well, there's an idea. I don't have to charge ten to twenty five thousand dollars. <laughs> so like, I mean, for me, I'm less than five for most for most small businesses. Like, I mean, I'm barely a, a, a four figure number, honestly. So, and then, so you pay for me to do it. I'll put the plan together for you, and then once you get that whole thing, you sign off on it, and then me and my team we take care of it, and then we'll tell you, hey, look, just so you know, we're executing step one. Here's what we agreed on. Uh, it's going out. Uh, you you said your in in hands date basically meaning when the clients are going to get it. This is when you're going to get it. We highly encourage you to definitely call them about two or three days after they get the message if they don't reach out to you first. <laughs> so right. like and like really solidify the impact there, and then they start building their referrals that way. And and some people get those referrals like they come in quick, or some sometimes it takes a little longer depending on the real estate agent and how close they are with their clients. But it's it's a big deal, right? When you are um working with a, uh, with a client and, you know, getting them kind of onboarded, I guess, uh, you know, how much information and, and really what are you asking people to bring to the table with their, you know, with their past clients and then these people that they're wanting to send the gifts to, to you so you can really personalize things. So I, for us, we have like a, a total, like an onboarding worksheet or whatever we would get to somebody. And I would say, so basically it's like, Tell us as much about each client. So like our, our package, our standard package is we will do um, the client appreciation for a whole year for your top 25 clients. And then it's $100 a client after 25. So we basically can take care of most people's top 25 people. Um, but basically um, we'll do, uh, tell me about each individual client and what they're like, tell me about it, each one as much as you can. What's their favorite color? Do they have pets? Do they have dogs? Do they have kids? Uh, what are their hobbies? What are their interests? And then it basically just fill out the worksheet as best you can. And if you don't fill the whole thing out, here's a good reason to call them. Get to know them. Go f- call them and find out what their hobbies are. Hey, I'm, I'm thinking of you. I was just trying to whatever. Um, tell me about what are you doing in your spare time or whatever. It just gives you an excuse to call and not be salesy and not be like push real estate on them. Because um, when they see, like, to be honest with you, when they see your name pop up on their phone, the first thing they think of is real estate. They're not thinking of you for any other reason for the most part. So you don't have to tell them you're in real estate all the time. So you can just call, like I texted all my clients, my top, I had, I was working with 24, my top 24 people. And some of them, I actually didn't know their favorite color. So I just reached out to them. I said, Hey, what's your favorite color? They're like, why are you asking? I'm like, just tell me. <laughs> Cause I have a surprise <laughs> for you coming in the mail and I want to make sure I pick the right color. And they're like, Oh, that's so fun, Steve. Thank you. And then they get the gift and it's like, Whoa, I did not see this coming. Like, yeah, so right. That's, well, that's cool. But that, I mean, that even like that builds up anticipation for what might be showing up too. accountability right there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, I like that. So, um, you know, I, when it comes to the, uh, the gift giving and, uh, you know, really kind of making sure that you are, uh, going above and beyond for your past clients, I, you know, it's one of those things I think sometimes newer agents or, you know, that maybe don't have, um, you know, that, that budget or those marketing dollars kind of saved away. How do you kind of get started so you can, you know, kind of get ramping up? Yeah. So for that, and and that's, this is why we're priced where we are is because I do have a soft spot in my heart for the new agents of the world who don't have a budget. Um, with me, it was like, for me, my, my first home I ever sold when I was in real estate was a $15,000 shell in Southwest Philadelphia. And I listed it for 19, sold it for 50. <laughs> it's like <laughs> literally got it. Nothing. Uh, smallest commission ever. <laughs> so, um, so like, I, you know, I had a no budget at that point. So basically my whole thing is, um, don't do it for 25 clients. Like you don't have to do it for, you don't have to find 25 if you don't want to, like we could do it for 10 or 15 or whatever. Like basically anywhere from one to 25. My advice is if you're paying for the whole thing, you might as well fill it with 25. Even if they're not past clients, pick your favorite people, pick your uh your biggest influencers of the you know, the church pastor or uh the community leader or the CYO director or the principal of the school, whatever. Pick somebody with some influence and fill your 25 spots and we'll go take care of it. So that's what I would recommend for someone who's just starting out trying to give and and execute gratitude. 
know, like uh, you talk about really um, taking that, you know, the, the kind of, uh, you know, almost like the the idea of gratitude. It's almost like that nebulous type, you know, it's kind of up in the clouds type. The, the word, you know, people think of that, but really kind of making it a concrete part of your business. And I think that's something that's super important. I think it's it's honestly, I don't know how many people I've talked to that have actually put it in those terms to like really take gratitude and make it a founding, you know, a founding stone of their, you know, their cornerstone of their business. Yeah. And uh, I, I think that's a, a really good and... Uh, you know, you talk about the return on investment. Yeah, absolutely. Like there's, you can't get a better return on investment than doing that. Yeah. I mean, for me, I mean, let's go to 20, back to 2021. I well, I spent 10, five and got 143 back. What's that? It's like 14 X <laughs> or something, right? <laughs> yeah. Something like that. Right. So, what, you know, when it comes to running, um, you know, your business now, what are some of those things that you need? You obviously, you are, uh, you're making all these great connections between your clients and their past clients, but you know, what is it about, you know, just uh, the business itself that, you know, makes you want to wake up every day and be, you know, get involved in it. So for me, it's like, if I can show someone else, well, one for me, I think uh, the one of the greatest quotes about gratitude is gratitude is not only the greatest of all virtues, but it's the parent of all others. So like being the parent of all others, if I can show another business owner, that that is in fact true and that it's not just some airy fairy holistic bull crap floating in the wind and that it's actually a legit on purpose marketing strategy when implemented will give you a higher ROI than anything else like when i can show another business owner that it's like you could it's almost like pulling a mask off it's just like how many business owners can i just go if you ever see that movie um incredibles 2 yeah with the screen slayer with the get goggles and I just feel like I'm ripping that off everybody who doesn't have it. They're all with this mask and they're all doing the gift. They're either doing the gifting wrong or they're not doing it at all. And I'm just like, rip the mask off, rip the mask off. And I'm just like going around every small business owner ripping this mask off. And then they open their eyes and they're like, holy crap. It's like, and then they go to, you know, from Incredibles 2 to Aladdin. And then they're just like a whole new world. <laughs> so it's like, it's like a whole new thing for them. And then, and then, and then it's a good thing. It's a good thing for them. And it's a good thing for their consumers. And, and that's the best part about it. So it's literally like the best win-win situation I can be in. So it's it just like, if you can't tell I'm popping off my chair talking about it. <laughs> right. Yeah, definitely. Well, I definitely appreciate you talking to me about it. Well, so we're at the end of 2022 at the time of recording this. Tell me what's, you know, what's the future looking like? What is the, you know, 2023, what do you have in mind for that? Um, For me, I, I actually have my goal setting meeting coming up. Um, probably, I think it's Thursday afternoon, I, I'll, but somewhere in there. So I, that I've been thinking about that. So I'm, I'm slowly kind of phasing out of the real estate business and then focusing more on the appreciation advocate. Cause I do have more of a passion for that. Um, but I think, uh, for us going forward, it's just going to be like, let's see if we can get to, for me, it's a it's six figures a month. And I know that's, I know that sounds like kind of crazy, but you know, <laughs> we have not had a six figure month yet. So I'm hoping to get to that point. So that's going to be pretty cool. Awesome. Well, before we wrap up, where can people find out more about uh, about you and everything you're doing? And if they are wanting to, you know, set something up with their clients as well? Yeah. So a couple of places, I mean, you could go to my Instagram, you could go to uh, Philadelphia real estate agent.com or not. That's sorry. Instagram is Philadelphia at Philadelphia real estate agent. Um, or you can go to the appreciation advocate uh, that I think the Instagram for that is appreciation advocate, or you can just go to the website. Actually, that's probably the easiest place to go. It's nice and simple. It's www.appreciationadvocate.com. Uh, and then you could just like opt in. You just click the website, just opt in, send us a message. And we, we call pretty quick. We're probably within like one to six hours. We'll get back to you. So, um, then we can just talk about it and see what you're trying to do, what your budget is. Um, we'll put a plan together for you and then you look like a rock star by the end of 2023. Definitely. Awesome. Well, again, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with me. It, uh, I can definitely see your enthusiasm, uh, yes. with everything, <laughs> but it's also, I, I gotta imagine, uh, you know, the clients and the people that you're working with, um, just the, uh, the joy that they get from getting these calls from their clients with the gifts that they're getting. And, and, uh, you know, obviously the return. Oh my gosh. That's, that's the best part. That's just seeing it work for somebody else. Cause it's like, it's a principle, so it's going to work. It's just whoever implements it, it's like who wants to implement it and who wants to be scientific and plan it out. And then that's where we are. We're literally the guy in the lab coat. We'll put the gratitude from this nebulous, airy, fairy, holistic idea. We'll put it into a little beaker for you. 
<laughs> and we'll put it into a plan and then you can go out and execute or well, we execute it for you, but then you get to go out and read the benefits. We're like, you're, we're like Santa's elves and you're Santa. We do all the work. You get all the credit. <laughs> That's the way to put it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Basically. <laughs> awesome. Well, again, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Yeah, no problem, Michael. This is a lot of fun. Appreciate you having me. I really want to thank Steve for joining us today. I'm completely bought in on the idea that if you truly view gratitude as a form of marketing for your business and take it seriously, the return on investment blows all other forms of marketing out of the water. And remember, if you're interested in learning more about The Appreciation Advocate, I've included a link to the website in the episode description. So once again, if you think you or someone else on your team has an incredible story or tips to share with our community, send us a message at feedback at smartagents.com. Well, that wraps things up for this episode. But remember, follow the show wherever you listen to podcasts and make sure to subscribe to the Smart Agents YouTube channel. Again, I'm Michael Walter, and we'll see you on the next episode.